I heard someone recently say that the difference between conspiracy and truth is often just a matter of time. Ten years ago, they said we were crazy to suggest chemtrailing in our skies. But today, it's been admitted to and been going on for decades. Twenty years ago, they also called us crazy for talking about the New World Order. But today... They openly admit to it. Highnesses, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, a very, very good morning on what is the first official day of World Government Summit here at Dubai Expo 2020. And the title of this session, Are We Ready for a New World Order? It's been rebranded as the Great Reset. They know their time is short. And it hasn't been going along according to all their plans. They seem willing these days to take more risk to get their agenda back on track. And as people begin to wake up to what's really going on, there's a need for them to shape the narrative so that we can stay confused and deceived by what's what's going on with their plans. So they can't let the flow of information go unchecked. And they want us to be deceived by people like Elon Musk, who they say are here to defend our right for information and for free speech. But as we look at Biden's new information czar, we're reminded that this couldn't be further from the truth. By the way, the person Obama, I mean, Biden chose to head that misinformation board is this one right here, Nina Jankowitz. She's a radical left winger who was very vocal about how the Hunter Biden laptop story was, wait for it, misinformation. That's right, the new misinformation czar sucks at recognizing misinformation, but is really good at delivering propaganda. Oh, and by the way, she's got great pipes. Wandering is really quite ferocious. It's when a huckster takes some lies and makes them sound precocious by saying them in Congress or a mainstream outlet. So disinformation's origins are slightly less atrocious. It's how you hide a little hide a little lie. Evenu Shalom Alehem. I bring peace unto you in the native Hebrew language of my Lord and Savior Yeshua Hamashiach, the one called Jesus Christ. Barah Hashem. Blessed be the name, Todo Rabbah Yahweh. I thank God so much. You are now watching The Conservative Racer. Remember, the race is not over until Christ returns. How's everyone doing this weekend? Unfortunately, I'm not going to have my new Bible study uh, done. I I knew it was going to take a while. I try to only work on it when I'm really feeling spirit led. But I'm going to share a live chat that I had a while ago with a brother in Christ on YouTube who goes by the name of Spiritual Logic, a.k.a. Hawk. And while in this video clip, it's mostly me running my mouth, uh, I would strongly suggest you to visit his channel and watch his program. I consider the brother a truther and his topics are the same as everyone else in the community, except I often forget what the topic is while listening to him because he's such a good speaker on God's word. You end up just sinking into the word and feeling fed and edified by his lesson. Uh, You completely forget about what the initial topic of the Uh, video was about to begin with give him a listen sometime when you have a moment so this live chat was talking about geoengineering uh, of our skies aka chemtrails if anyone's not aware it's been openly admitted to by now they claim it's in an effort to dim the sun to protect us from climate change but those who are familiar on this topic know that that's just a cover for their true intent God bless everyone. Let's begin. Okay, we got conservative with us. Uh, Hold on. Let me add you to the stream, brother. What's going on, brother? How you doing, brother? Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. 
Okay. Welcome to the stream, man. Thanks for coming God out. God bless you, brother. I appreciate what you do. Just want to say shalom to the chat. And uh, God bless everyone. Um, my first time stepping in with you, and I just wanted to uh, um, touch base on some of the things you were saying about the health and uh, what they're doing to us today. Um, yeah. I, I want to, like, my focus lately is trying to get people to understand that now is the time to start learning what we need to uh, bring uh, nutrition to our body because the uh, the uh, goal, and I'm going to try to be careful not to say anything that's going to hurt your uh, your channel, but the okay. uh, goal uh, of what they're trying to do is to lower our immune system. And mm -hmm. they've been doing this for a long time. Uh, the um, AKA chemtrails, which we know now are geoengineering, uh, I noticed from maybe 10 years ago, um, the um, contrails on the, on the jets uh, have, haven't looked the same since I was in high school when I used to work at the naval base uh, and I'd see those jets all the time. I know what it should look like. I immediately started asking people, you know, what's up with the uh, sky? And, you know, now we know that what they're doing is they're dropping um, barium, strontium, aluminum, all of these different elements. They're putting that into the atmosphere. And what's happened is that's going down and falling into the uh, ground soil. It's falling into the ocean. It's falling into um, the water supply. And um, it's going into our fish. It's going into our crops. It's going into our water, our drinking water, and we're breathing it in. And um, along with some other things, you know, uh, <laughs> that they give us these days, yeah. you see the elements that are in, along with the elements that they were tossing to us from the uh, geoengineering, mm -hmm. are combining to do some things to our, uh, our, our anatomy and it's breaking down our immune system. So there's going to come a time when um, people are going to become ill and they're just not going to know why. Their doctors aren't going to know why. Um, they're not going to seem to be able to. I, I had a, a early in 2020 uh, or shortly after everything started jumping off, a, a friend had said to me, you know, after I got the, uh, the vid, I've never been the same and mm -hmm. I've been, you know, and he knows how his performance has dropped because he's always in the gym and he knows what he's capable of and mm -hmm. they keeping track of their performance for years. Uh, you know, with all their devices and all their, you know, this and that. So he sees a drop off. So he's like, you know, ever since the vid, I've never been the same. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, it's not ever since the vid. It's ever since the that you haven't been the same. How come yeah. you haven't made that connection? Mm -hmm. And um, people aren't understanding that 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 was is what began a little bit of uh, decline for those that took the. And now they're combining what's inside of that with what's coming down in these uh, uh, chemicals they're putting in everything, uh, mm -hmm. and it's degrading our immune system. So. I've been trying to push, and I'm not going to say that I'm as dedicated as I should be as far as my health, but I do try and implement certain things into my diet to help me to compensate, you know, uh, for what's going on. And I'm trying to encourage people. I just dropped the video uh, the other Can day. Can you drop your name? People asking about oh, who's on yeah, right my, um, my channel is The Conservative Racer. Three Are you a mod? You can drop your channel if you want, because people might want to look for you. And um, I got um, a video that I put out that I, I'm not any um, any doctor or anything like that, any herbalist or anything like that. But I've been been loving herbs since I was a child, and I want to get people on a um, awareness that. They should start trying to learn about what these different herbs can do for them because you know uh god gave us certain things listen to me anything that goes wrong with anybody there's something that god gave us that can heal us 
And we mm -hmm. need to start learning what those things are and how we can start implementing them in our life to give us a better chance. We need to give ourselves a fighting chance against what they're doing to us, you know. And Isaiah, God let it be that all weapons formed against us will not prosper. But we have to understand, not prosper. I don't believe we're that means that we're not going to be affected by anything. We still may have to deal with some difficulties from what the enemy's doing. But at the end of the day, I accept that covenant that God made that these things that the enemy does will fail. And at the same token, we got to start trying to take efforts to help make sure that, you know, we improve our chances of getting through some of these things that they're dropping down on us right now. Make a right. channel name in here. Shalom, Lawrence. Uh, shalom, shalom, uh, shalom, shalom to everybody in the chat. Shalom to the panel. Uh, how's everybody doing? Lawrence, how are you, sir? But but anyway, yeah, uh, I'm a little difficult. I'm gonna put my link in here in a second. Uh, I'm not very good with uh, with technology. I I try my best to uh, actually uh, not be in the loop of what's uh, all the latest and greatest things with social media and tech. I'm new to social media because I've only been on social media since the pandemic. Uh, yeah, and, almost um, me too. A little bit before, yeah. so I know, I know the struggle, bro. And I, I understand I actually, how hard it is to, yeah. to grow a channel now. I'm I'm new to uh to to yeah all of this. Uh, my channel's been up for about a year, and uh, I just dropped a video called uh, "The Healing and the Illness of the Nations," and um, I'm just trying to bring some awareness to some of the things that we should think about implementing right now to uh into our diets and start learning about certain things you know pick a couple things a couple herbs here and there and uh, start, to you. With, start with honey people underestimate how powerful honey is you mm -hmm. want to get the best possible honey you can uh source locally if possible uh, when we eat things that are nearest to our 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 environment where we live those uh fruits and vegetables and things will um uh, they will, they will, they will work better with our, uh, our our diet than something that's from another place. I mean, Dr. Saber used to say, you know, how the uh, uh, certain animals couldn't, uh, you know, do well eating food food from another environment, and we're the same. You know, we want to try and get things that are locally sourced. But um, yep. I, I digress. The honey, uh, take it when you're sick. You have a sore throat. You start feeling like you're getting the flu. Um, get yourself a little salt, uh, sea salt or um, Himalayan pink salt gargle, and uh, do that a couple times, a few times a day, and spoon some honey. Uh, mm -hmm. It's, it's anti an, an, viral. Um, everything, man. Honey, yeah, everything. honey is one of the only only su only uh, natural substances that does not biodegrade. Yeah, and and it, it's just powerful. Not to mention the fact that the nutrition that it has. And I like to tell people who are stocking up for, you know, hard times, trying to keep some supplies on hand, just get yourself some spirulina and some, 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 um, some chlorella. Uh, it's very nutrient dense and it, it's, this is important. I don't know what is the degree that this works, but mm -hmm. chlorella and spirulina removes toxins, uh, um, impurities, poisons, it even removes heavy metals from your body. Now, with these things that they're dropping into the air and that are getting into our food, getting into our water and everything, this will help to remove some of that from our body. I don't know the degree of uh, its ability to remove, but it naturally removes, it It, it like bonds with those, those metals and then it helps you to flush it from your body. Yeah, um, same with cilantro and parsley. Cilantro right, is good heavy, moderate, right. heavy metals and parsley. I just learned like, about the cilantro two yeah. days ago, and uh, and and yeah, I um made note of that myself because I was not aware of the cilantro. Yep, and um, it's raw. Usually, get all, always get like you say, locally sourced, raw, organic, unfiltered honey. It shouldn't be mm -hmm. no effect right. to it. Right. I think manuka honey. I think is the name of one of them that's really good but yeah, uh, yeah just any 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 raw honey you just don't want that cheap one if listen let me tell you something when it comes to this this what we're talking about if you're getting it really cheap you may not be getting 
a good source. Uh, some things you don't want to go cheap on. Honey is one of them. If you got a a, a honey that costs you like two ninety nine, it's probably not a really good honey. That's something yeah. that you want to spend good money on. And I, I, I mean, I'm not really using honey necessarily to sweeten all of the things that I'm eating. I'm using honey. I have a honey uh, stash that's medicinal only. It's only for when I get sick. Um, so I, I spend like twenty bucks on my honey but it's medicinal and it just healed me just recently i don't know uh, to be honest you know i don't get sick often but i don't really know what i had i'm not getting you know a test so <laughs> <laughs> praise but god yeah. it's it's going and over you know because that's how you know god works you know he's going to be there for us yeah um, one of my one of my, my most basic things i do is um and i drink this almost on a daily basis i would take uh, some uh, matcha green tea, and I take some matcha. Yeah, yeah, and some part of Arco tea, and it's a good like bark, and it's um it's good to remove uh like yeast out the body and, and mm -hmm. bacteria and just fungus and all these things that you know like I said when you're being poisoned and you're whether it be radiation, chemtrails, heavy metals, it poisons your cells and poison cells die. And anyway, you got to remember that your cells are constantly breaking down, being rebuilt. So bacteria uh, has to break down those decaying cells. And if you don't detox, it produces toxic waste byproduct. That is the after effect that we feel and you have to detox. So I use uh, I take some gin raw ginger root slices and, and I put that in the tea. I take, I take some curcumin and black pepper and I mix that in in the tea. I just open these little capsules and pour the curcumin in there in the tea before I add the hot water with the tea and the ginger. And I pour that water. I take a whole lemon. I squeeze the lemon in there. And make sure it's organic. It should have seeds. If it don't have seeds, don't mess with it. And mm -hmm. um, and then I, you know, I might add a little bit of uh, raw organic honey, or um, and I take my I take my black seed oil with manuka honey. I'm not up on the black seed oil. I, I I've been meaning to research that. Um, it's amazing. It's amazing, bro. I've, I I've hear taken it for but years. Good things about it. I hear nothing but good things about it. Uh, but uh, again, you know, my my weakness is that. Uh, I, I've lacked the discipline to do all the things that I know I should be doing uh, for myself. So uh, I'm sure black seed oil, along with many other things, would benefit me. Uh, but I gotta, if I could just take a, a fraction of what I know now and implement it well in my life and start getting myself disciplined, uh, I wouldn't, uh, uh, you know, have no worries. But uh, that's my my problem. I know a lot of things, and I love to share them. Uh, now I need to. You know, pray for some encouragement to implement everything that I know. Uh, right, still, right. But uh, praise God, I'm um, I'm here just to uh, try and uh, give some encouragement. And uh, I'm not gonna uh, uh, keep you from your uh, from your flow. Just wanted to drop in, say uh, hello, and uh, uh, God bless you. I appreciate what you do. And um, uh, everybody, just take take a little time. It's hard a lot of times. Uh, we have a lot of things going on in our life and they keep us from spending that quality time to do our research. And you know, the narrative nowadays, you know, don't do your, your, your research. Don't look into things because you may get misinformation. You know, yeah, I'm sure everybody in this chat knows we don't listen to nonsense like that. It is complete utter nonsense to think that you should take advice from somebody named Fauci and somebody from cat dog cat without checking and doing your research first it's just it's just insanity to think that you should listen to their advice without checking for yourself um so yeah take a little time uh a, a little thing that i like people to do uh take a couple herbs maybe that you don't know about a couple herbs a week and go to the search engine if you use a search engine uh type benefits of and just the word of whatever it is you want to know and try and pick the most reputable source that you think uh, you see out of the list. Also, YouTube, that same type of search benefits of and the word of whatever it is. And you may get some, you know, as they say, a little misinformation here or there. But what I found, if you read a lot of the different information being given uh, with discernment, you can easily figure out what's good for you. God bless everybody.
God bless hey, you, brother. Um, uh, stay, stay around, brother. Don't, don't, don't leave. Okay, I'll hang out for a minute. Yeah, yeah don't, 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 don't leave. Um, because that last part you said, I wanted, I wanted to, to make a point. Um, you know, we, we listen to Cat Dog Cat, and we listen to all these other people left and right <clears throat> about take this, swallow that, inject this, yada yada. What I wanted to make a point of with you being here is that to everybody in the chat, this is an opportunity that generally doesn't happen for us. Mm. What you have right now between mm. myself, your, yourself, Hulk, and other people in the chat who are giving advice as well, you literally have people here who are not just throwing something at you. You literally have people who are using the very things they're talking to you about. Mm, you, go into, you, you go into a medical office and a doctor will tell you take this. You have no verification whether or not it works or even if he would take it under those circumstances. Trust he's, alone. Just, he's just cutting a check. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? That's so, right. That's right. So you have all of us here right now. And when we call out something, we call it out because we've used it. We've tested it, which is one of the mandates we have biblically test everything. Mm, so, praise God. So, so, so here we are, you know, and I, I just, I just wanted to make that point um, so, because, because not everybody can do what others do. And, and that's understandable. We, 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 we are in whatever particular circumstance we're in, but if you just start with the smallest of things, the smallest of things, the, 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 the smallest of things, I, I don't, I don't care if it's the size of what you're using. I don't care if it's the amount of money you're and, using. Just the smallest step and the smallest little high. start. Yeah. I promise, I promise everybody in the chat, as the most high is my witness, and as I testify this, you will find out every step becomes easier. The brother and it, knows. And it, and it, and the it'll brother's move. talking truth right now. It, it, it'll move.